Hello everyone, it's End Times Talk, and good morning to you. Um, I was spending some time with the Lord this morning. I, I wake up real early in the morning, and I just, I'm alone with God, and I and I spend that time, and that's truly, truly important to me. Um, <clears throat> as I was spending time with the Lord, I was asking the Lord for a word, asking the Lord what He wants me to say to His people. And... I want to I want to mark this that there's people that are calling me a false prophet and stuff. I'm no prophet even to begin with. So how can you be false when you're not a prophet, right? But the Lord's asked me today to teach you how to tap into the presence of God. Okay? He's telling me that my people, my church need to know how to get into my presence. And we're going to start off with the temple of the Lord. See, in Jerusalem, Back in Solomon's day, back in King Herod's day, there were temples that existed before they were destroyed. And they had three parts to them. They had an outer court, which Gentiles were allowed in. They had an inner court, where uh, Jewish priests, or uh, Jew only Jews were allowed in. Okay, And then they had the Holy of Holies, which is where one Levite priest, one time a year, could go into to offer up you know, what he needed to offer up to the Lord. <clears throat> he needed to be pure of heart, and he needed to be clean spiritually and without sin, and they tied a rope around his waist. And when he went past the veil, if they didn't feel any movement for a while, they drug out his dead body, because you see, if you're not clean before the Lord <clears throat> when you come to him, back then he'd just take you out. And that's what it was, because God doesn't mess around. Okay, now... That is step one. Repent. Ask for forgiveness. Don't come before the Lord in rags. It doesn't matter what you're wearing, of course, but don't come in spiritual rags. You come before the Lord with the best, the best of the best that is you. And so you have to spend time on your knees praying if you want to tap into the presence of God and you need to repent and ask Him for forgiveness and clean yourselves white. Make your robes white in the blood of the Lamb before you come before the presence of the Lord. That is step number one. <clears throat> and that's also representative of the Gentile court because it's an unclean place because Gentiles are seen as unclean uh, back in that day. All right, Before Jesus was... Uh, crucified and, and made us all clean by his blood. Now, the inner court is worship. It, the Jews represent the worship. It's, it's the singing, the praising. After you become clean, you sing, you praise God. You, 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 you turn on your favorite Christian music. Not, not, not heavy metal, because God doesn't want to hear, rah, rah, rah. Okay? God wants to have sweet, sounding music played and even if you don't know the words to the song just hum just hum just just get into the the mode get into the to the spirit get into the presence of god through worshiping his holy name glorify him tell him how precious he is how amazing he is how loving he is how caring he is how honorable and glorified he is keep doing this and keep pushing in sometimes it takes 10 minutes Sometimes it takes a half hour, sometimes it takes an hour, sometimes it takes two hours. But if you keep pushing, and you keep pushing, and you keep pushing into the presence of God, you will reach the veil that separates worship from the holy place. And the anointing of God will fall in your home like you never even thought was possible. The air will get thick. And, and warm around you, you will literally be able to cut it with a knife. The presence of God is a tangible feeling around you. Your hairs on your arms will stand on end because the electricity of God is all around you. And I and I and and, and God is a is a being. He has a face. He has a mouth. He has ears. He has hands. He has feet. He's not some electrical current that just goes here and goes there. All right. God is real. Okay, and he wants to have communion with you. And so once you reach that 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 spiritual realm where you're at, <clears throat> that's when you're in the holy place. And sometimes when you're in the holy place, it's good to be silent, to listen for that word from the Lord, to listen for what he has for you. Because you've 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 knocked and you've knocked and the door has been opened by the Lord. And he wants you to receive. 
It says freely he gives, or it says freely he gives to us. It's, there's no price to be paid. You don't have to give money. If a church is asking you for money for healing or anything like that, well, you need to get away from that church. Because in this holy place, that's where miracles happen. That's where God meets his people. And he just lifts them up. And holds them. And I'm telling you, the love that you feel when you tap into that presence, it's so amazing. And, and, it's, and it's, it's trilateral like that. you got to get past the flesh, and then you got to get past the soul, and you got to connect to the spirit. you got to get in the spirit realm. And this is how it's done. This is how, this is how I've found out how to tap into the presence of God. It's not some Ouija board. It's not some this or that. But it's, it's, it's love. It's God's pure love and his perfect will for your life, and you realize it. It's almost like the heavens open up before you and, and, and all that. It, it's amazing. It's amazing. And so I wanted to share this with everybody, that, that you can, in your own home, tap into the presence of God, but do not come before the king unclean. That is, that is rule number one, but the blood of Jesus Christ washes all sin away. And, 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 he, and he saves. You know, if you're not saved, you know, ask Jesus Christ into your heart and believe. It says to believe, you know, and act it out. Uh, our, our actions are an outward appearance of what we believe in our hearts. And that's why we strive to be righteous through the flesh as well. That's why we have to crucify the flesh daily, okay? And, and so we all have things in our lives that are holding us back from the presence of God in that next level with God. I mean, for Enoch loved God so much and he walked with God so much that for God just took him. And same with Elijah. I mean, the miracles that, that Elijah had seen were amazing because he tapped into the presence of God. You know, it, it, the supernatural realm is real. It's tangible. We're a multi-dimensional um, uh, uh, plane of existence. There's 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 multiple dimensions. And, and, and as we break through those barriers, we're tapping into the presence of God. And it can be done. I don't want to... I, I don't even want to, I'm not even going to pay attention to scoffers. And people are like, oh, that's unbiblical, man. Because I know what I feel in my spirit. I know how God has spoken to me in my, in my past and how he speaks to me now. And I love worshiping him. There is nothing like singing a song to the Lord. So I hope this blesses you and that may God keep you. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.